Bird's Adventure, written by Elizabeth Classing, pictures by Lauren Attenello, a golden story book and tape. Every time you hear this sound, you'll know it's time to turn the page. Are you ready to begin? Find the page where you see Big Bird and Barkley walking in the park. One sunny day, Big Bird took Barkley for a walk. The city sound slowly faded away as they walked in the park. It was quiet and peaceful, but Big Bird was excited. This is a perfect day for an adventure. Don't you think so, Barkley? <coughs> Barkley barked back. Elmo pedaled by on a tricycle. Hi, Big Bird. Do you want to ride bikes with Elmo? You can win Elmo's new tricycle bell. Big Bird shook his head. Thanks, Elmo, but I'm looking for an adventure. Oh, Big Bird, what's an adventure? Well, I guess it's something exciting that you do, said Big Bird. Wow, Elmo wants to find an adventure too. Here goes Elmo. And Elmo pedaled away. Big Bird walked slowly along the path. Finding an adventure isn't as easy as I thought. But Barkley, look what I did find. He picked up a baseball from under a bristly bush. Then the bush began to rattle and shake. Hey, maybe this is an adventure. Big Bird cried. What is that ball? I know it landed here. But it was just Ernie and Bert. You found our baseball. Thanks, Big Bird. Do you want to play catch with us? Bert asked. I'd like to, but right now I'm looking for an adventure. Said Big Bird. He tossed the ball back to Bert. <laughs> Big Bird and Barkley passed Prairie Dawn and Grover jumping rope. Strawberry ice cream, ice cream is, is so sweet. sweet. How, How many spoonfuls should we eat? eat? One, two, three, four. Grover called. Uh, hello, Big Bird. Would you like to play with us? No, thank you, Grover. I'm looking for an adventure, said Big Bird. I sure do hope I find an adventure soon," Big Bird said to Barkley. But Barkley wasn't listening. He had spied a kitten. <laughs> Barkley bounded across the path after the kitten. He pulled the leash right out of Big Bird's hands. Big Bird yelled, "No, Barkley, come back!" But Barkley was having too much fun to stop. He chased the kitten around and around the trunk of a big tree. Finally, the kitten gave a loud meow and scrambled up the tree. Big Bird shook his finger at Barkley. Bad dog, Barkley! You scared him. Poor kitty. Don't worry. I'll get you down. He started to climb the tree. Here I come, kitty. Gee, for a little kitty, you sure climbed awfully high. The kitten watched Big Bird climb carefully from branch to branch. The leaves shook and the branches swayed. Higher and higher, Big Bird went, never looking down. At last. He reached the branch where the kitten sat. Big Bird reached for the kitten. Don't be scared. Hey, where are you going? Come back! But the kitten jumped from branch to branch, back down to the ground. Then it leaped over Barkley's tail and disappeared into the bushes. Big Bird looked down. Gosh, the ground looks awfully far away. That kitten wasn't stuck at all, but I am. Hey, how am I going to find an adventure if I'm stuck up in a tree? Wow, 
I'm almost as high as that plane, way up in the sky. This is pretty exciting. It feels like I'm flying. Just look at me, I'm way up high. I knew someday I'd get to fly. I'm flying. Oh, yes, I'm flying. I knew I'd like it, cause I had heard there's nothing like it. If you're a bird, I'm flying. Oh, yes, I'm flying. So pass the bird seed and I'll rip the wrapping. My wings are free, they're not even flapping. I'm flying, I'm flying, I'm flying. I'm higher than high. Spread the word, big bird is finally at. Airborne bird, I'm flying Oh yes, I'm flying I can hear the wind whooshing and the birds singing. And there's a squirrel eating a nut. But, Barkley, how do I get down? <coughs> Barkley barked. Big Bird tried counting clouds as they drifted by. One cloud, two clouds. Then he heard Elmo's three. tricycle bell. Big Bird called down to Elmo. Yoo-hoo, Elmo! I'm up here! Big Bird, what are you doing up there in that big tree? Elmo looked puzzled. Big Bird looked down at Elmo. I'm stuck. Can you help me get down? Elmo will try to think of something, said Elmo. After a minute, a loud noise made Elmo look up. He saw a helicopter flying over the park. It gave him an idea. Elmo can't climb high enough to get Big Bird. But a helicopter could fly down and rescue Big Bird from the tree. Big Bird held tightly onto his branch. That helicopter looks too busy to rescue Big Bird's. Just then, a baseball flew through the air and bounced against the tree. Ernie and Bert came running after it. What are you doing up in that tree, Big Bird? Are you building a nest? Bert asked. I'm stuck up here, Big Bird wailed. From across the park, Bert heard a fire engine. It gave him an idea. Firemen rescue people all the time. I bet we could get one to rescue you. Big Bird sighed. <sighs> that fire truck sounds too busy. Besides, who ever heard of rescuing a bird from a tree? But I sure hope I get down soon because I want to have an adventure today. Prairie Dawn and Grover came by. Prairie asked, What's up? I am. Big Bird said sadly, I'm stuck. What if I have to stay up here forever? Do not worry, Big Bird. 
I, Grover, will keep you company. I can come and sing you a little song every morning, said Grover. We'll bring your lunch every day. We can throw it to you, Bert offered, and Prairie Dawn said, I will read you a bedtime story every night. Gee, thanks, everyone, said Big Bird. Around the corner came Biff and Sully. They were carrying their tools and a shiny silver ladder. Biff saw Big Bird in the tree and stopped. What are you doing in that tree, Big Bird? I'm stuck, said Big Bird once again. Is that a new ladder? It's pretty spiffy. Oh dear, how in the world am I ever going to get down? Do you want to use our ladder to climb down? Biff asked. That's a great idea, said Big Bird. Biff propped the ladder against the tree. We'll have you down in a jiffy, Big Bird. Everyone shouted when Big Bird climbed down the ladder. Hooray! <laughs> They all walked back to Sesame Street together. What a day, said Big Bird. I was so busy playing with Barkley, seeing all my friends, climbing a tree, rescuing kittens, getting stuck, and being rescued myself that I didn't even have time for an adventure. Big Bird sighed. Oh well, maybe I'll have an adventure tomorrow. 